Alright, so we're going to do the truck reveal today. Um, you can see it's kind of cloudy. Just got done raining here in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. Nice little train in the background over there. Yeah. So, um, what could it possibly be? Any ideas? You knew it was going to be a diesel. You knew it's got to be bigger for a bigger rig. Put comment comment down below what you think it is but let's get into it real quick is the truck right here. GMC Denali 3500 with the 6.6 .6 Duramax diesel L5P. 2021. 2020. 2020. 2020. Just kidding. Um, so a uh, few things this truck does it obviously is the Denali, right? It has the off-road package. It has the fifth wheel gooseneck package. Um, I mean, there, there's a little there's really nothing that this truck doesn't have at this point. Um, so let's go ahead and just uh, dive into it. So let's go on the inside of the truck, All right? So up here we have four by four. We have our tow haul mode right here. Swipe it to the left and it'll uh, put it in tow mode. Uh, it has automatic two wheel drive, four wheel drive engagement. Okay. We have our cab lights, dome lights here. All right, automatic lights all over here. On this door, driver's <laughs> side door, we have seat memory. Uh, we have the window lock mirror extension. So it push this and the mirrors will go out for whenever you're towing uh, bigger trailers. Mirror folding, all right. Automatic windows uh, for lower and raising on the front and back. Uh, automatic lower windows on the back. Electronic parking brake. Heads up display. Uh, that was really trippy. Yeah. Getting used to. Yeah. I, I mean, let's face it, guys. You go from 2003 to 2020, <laughs> you're like, you're, you're pretty Your mind much, is blown. You're going from a Cessna to a Starship. Like, let's just be honest here. Um, so heads up, heads up display uh, info, which shows up right here in front of the driver's side of the window. Um, we come around. We have our instrument cluster right here. Um, we can go through everything for fuel economy, timer, distance, driver distance. Uh, follow distance will actually tell you how far you are from the vehicle in front of you. Um, and then, so this will, if you are following closely to somebody and they hit their brakes, it will flash up in the heads up display. It'll start flashing red, warning you and telling you to step on your brakes. Your seat will start vibrating and everything like that. It also has the lane assist. Uh, where if you start drifting into, some, into another lane without using your turn signal, uh, it will start vibrating on left or right, whichever way you're drifting. Uh, so you'll get your fuel filter life, your engine hours, and all the, all the information that you need to keep the maintenance on it. A lot of steering wheel controls here, heated steering wheel, heated seats, air-conditioned seats on both which driver and Which is amazing in passenger, Florida. <laughs> which is really comes in handy here in Florida. And then this has the remote start, which is amazing as well. It does. It does have the remote start. Because we've never had that. And then if you look here at our rear view, rear view mirror, that is actually a camera that is over the bed of the truck. If I flip it down, I can see normally just out the back, you know, if I want to do it that way. But I have found that this way, I actually see a lot more without the obstruction of headrest or children's heads in my way. Looking at our... Uh, stereo and um, set up set up and everything I don't know what we call it but so we have all the apps and everything like that navigation no phone connected I took the Bluetooth off my phone because I mostly use Apple CarPlay uh, I like Apple CarPlay a lot more than Bluetooth because it actually gives me updated maps for Google from my phone and it also 
uh, I can cycle through music a little bit easier on there and use Amazon for my music. Mm -hmm. So we also have OnStar services, Marketplace, Sirius XM, uh, the MyGMC app, and cameras and trailering. So we'll go to the cameras. So the camera options here, all right, we have the lines for the front. And then we also can do it for the back. Um, so we have our back set up as well. What I really like about this right here is that it actually shows me if I'm lined up in a parking spot or if I'm lined up on the edge of our gravel here for our spot. Uh, I can swap around to this, get a full 360 view as well, or go with the side camera views if I wanted to. Uh, and then also, I can look in the bed of the truck. So if we're hooking up, if we were hooking up to a fifth wheel, or if we're just hauling some stuff back and forth from the storage unit to the RV, to the RV or something, and I'm worried about it falling out, I can just look back real quick and have reassurance that it's there. And then of course, as everybody knows, almost every single vehicle nowadays has it, the, um, radio, the conventional trailering uh, camera. So once we have the RV, we can actually set up cameras to look behind the RV while we're driving down the road, to be inside the RV if we're driving down the road, whatever we want, right? So, love the camera features on this. It's actually mm -hmm. amazing. So, working our way down. All right, dual climate, right? All of our heating and air and everything down here. My favorite feature on this truck, the exhaust brake. The exhaust brake is amazing. It actually slows you down a lot faster than what your brakes would, especially in a truck that is this heavy. I think this truck weighs like eight, 8,000 pounds or 8,200 pounds on its own. That's a lot of weight to have to slow down really fast. So the exhaust brake, I absolutely love that. It slows us down a lot faster without having to use up my brakes. Lane assist, we can turn all of this on or off as we want to. So we can turn the lane assist off, we can turn the parking assist off. This will actually drop the tailgate down uh, if we are, I guess, if we have the fifth wheel, if we have a fifth wheel hooked up or a gooseneck hooked up, and we're gonna unhitch from it to save time. If we wanted to, we could just go ahead and drop the tailgate once we're in spot and uh, go from there. Uh, track control off. This little guy right here actually turns on a normal outlet, right? So if you got something that you wanna charge, you can plug it in here. That's another thing I love about this, all the charging ports that you can use in this thing all of the charging ports that are in here also you have a little sd drive uh here oh, as well i didn't even know that it's maps it's for the navigation oh. yep. and this is really spacious in here a lot of space i mean i mean that's called the hoarder's paradise i can't even <laughs> i can't even fill this up it's amazing and then also we have wireless charging for your uh for your phones here as well uh underneath this you just set your phone on top of it and it'll start charging. Uh, we have cup holders all over the freaking place in this yes. thing. I mean, we got cup holders here, here, in the doors. The doors, you could probably <laughs> put two cups in each door if you wanted to. Um, we also have more storage here for the glove box. And then your regular. And your regular traditional glove box as well. So we have the sunroof. Uh, I'm not gonna open it because there's water on all on top of it. I don't want to get rained on here. Um, but we can open up the very back we can window. Open up the very back window from up here, which the girls love. Girls love that. Um, you also, if you're not full timing and you do have a house, you can program your garage door with these right here. That way, you don't have to have the old garage door opener there. Um, and then the back seat, actually, we have tons of room in the back seat. I mean, a full grown, you know, I mean, I'm 5'8 on a good day, basically. But I would say if you're probably 6'5 or something like that, or 6 foot, you would fit comfortably 
back there in that back seat. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of space back there. Our girls are tiny, and they were kind of crammed in the other truck. They have room to grow in this truck, though. Um, so, uh, we'll move on. Oh, also, it comes with trailer braking. All right, so as soon as you plug in a trailer that has brakes on it, so any RV, any fifth wheel, or, you know, your higher, you know, your goosenecks and stuff like that, stuff that tends to... Um, <clears throat> carry a bit more weight than just the traditional like eight by eight by eight of a trailer or something like that. As soon as you plug it in, it's got brakes on it. The system will recognize it. It'll come up. It'll ask you if you want to adjust the sensitivity or the gain on it. And you can just go from there and set it up how you want. All right. So now we're at the back of the truck. We got our two cameras here for backing up. Uh, we also have our plugins for trailer cameras right here as well and then your normal seven pin in as well. I will say the hitch kind of threw me off for the receiver kind of threw me off for a minute <laughs> because I think it's one of the I think it's a three inch receiver and whenever I went to go put our hitch for the travel trailer in nothing was fitting and I was like oh my god I gotta go buy an adapter to make this thing smaller so it actually fit. Luckily, the truck already had one uh, had one in the back seat, and I just popped that in there real quick. One of my favorite features of all times with this truck is how many ways they have to make it easier to get in the back of this truck if you need to. They have steps all around the bed, which the girls love too. And also, press of a button, tailgate drops. Press another button, that drops, and then this flips out, and we have. Step and I mean, we all love it, but Mia loves it because she can climb up on here by herself. So, going into the bed of the truck, we have another uh, 120 volt uh, outlet, LED lights all inside the bed of the truck, right here, seven pin outlet for uh, goosenecks or fifth wheels. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why that's in here, but it's here. So we also have a little handle, assist, an assist bar, maybe, I guess is what you could call it. I don't know. I think the only time I used it was when we were getting rid of a uh, above ground pool and I needed something to just kind of hold on to as I lifted an above ground pool up into here. So we have the puck system also. The, like I said, it came with the gooseneck fifth wheel package. So we have the puck system for our ball here, and then our little, uh, I guess, rings for hooks. So, really excited to use this. This isn't a rhino line bed, it is lined with something else. I can't remember what. GM calls it, but it is one of their most durable liners that they've ever put. I think it has like Kevlar built into it or something like that. Either way, all I know is I can throw stuff around in here all day long and it's not going to actually chip it or damage it whatsoever. Because um, I threw the hitch in here for the, for the Airstream and it didn't do anything to it. So, good job GM. You crushed it. Backup sensors all around the back. We also have sensors up in the front and a camera up in the front as well to let me know how close I am getting to the cars whenever I'm parking or backing out. So that's it for the truck. Stay tuned and uh, get ready for the RV walkthrough. See you guys.